Anyways, guys, so here we are. Get ready for this, guys. This is the one and only lifetime supply of this event, guys. Open free crates and fight for North Light Mothership here. Yep, that's the newest one. And by the way, guys, the newest account. The newest event, guys, we're going to be doing for today is going to involve the Scavenger Rising. That's what the event's called. And hello, everyone. This is me, Christian, again. Anyway, so here we will remarkably go right into the event and likely to get started now. And so, yeah. And, yeah. Look at this, so we have all these stuff here, this is all like, of course, the stuff that you can read, so you can just like, pause the video if you want, and just read what all this says here. I'm just going by it a little bit quick, but not too quick, because I don't want to make it so you guys can't read it at all. For anybody that's interested in storytelling in now these days, I really am not. So that's why I'm just going into this so-called event now, guys. And it looks like for our current start, we get a total exclusive amount of event coins here. Starting off with 100 for the bronze. As for silver, 200 because we won the 50 from the Operation E crate. And we have... As you can see, nothing for the 200 yet. And because, of course, we started a new event called Scavenger Rising, guys. Yeah. Of course, what we have to do is show you guys the prizes. You see what has changed and what hasn't. You maybe see if they add any new stuff or anything, guys. And yeah. So. Looking like from the best of what we're seeing, knowing the Mender one being a support bot, the next top support bot is the Capri. Now I know that Mender on the other hand is the bestest topest support bot released, but I bet most of you guys net by now already have like Menders and even including better yet, a new pilot for the Mender. But this is just the more recommended thing because it's still the newest thing in the game. Not that they're trying to ruin this for players that want Mender so badly. I get why. It's just they're doing it because it's so new and they need a little more attention as well. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention this. If any of you guys are new to the channel, so write your accounts below. So please subscribe to me and also subscribe to my girlfriend Harmony as well. It'll help us out a lot and why I mention this in every video. Well, we make a good guess. We just do. I just basically what I'm doing this for is so you guys could really get the remarkable attention and I need some reminders, you know. It becomes extremely hard now these days. And this is for the medium crate now. We're looking at here, guys. And yeah. <clears throat> Turns out, well, yeah, it's only like one component because it means you just get the free thing still. Yeah. It's literally like nothing here, necessarily. Oh, and I, and I see that you moved the Skyro spot because it used to be in the gold crate and now they moved it to silver. Also followed by they have the theme is the themes is which is on the title of the page by the way if we load it into the game and yeah this is of course for the sky ropes and the ball mode we already seen that one before no more shock and surprise are any of these stuff even new well that's what we're about to get into later on right so all basically that's still kind of the same. Now they have the scavenger hand me down. Ha, <laughs> so that's sort of new, but of course, as for taking 10% more durability still, you get 10% additional more. <clears throat> and another to top support, but this one is the top support just for the Titan setup here. 
another recommended one. Oh, followed by they have the newest weapon, Alpha Weapon. Giganta Tar and Giganta. Yeah. Again, I can't really pronounce most of this here. Anyway, so what you can do with your Titan here is you can clearly repair your own Titan for some reason. The weapon repairs about 20% of your robot's durability. So any damage you deal is like, it's basically the vampire weapons. You deal damage to them, You whatever damage you deal to the enemies here as you can see. You gain that healing back, but it's kind of difficult because if they enemies do more damage than you do, chances are, yeah. And it's not even full 100% proof. It's only maybe like 20%, so it's not going to get you that far with the healing, but you can still get a good performance out of a lot of damage you still do, guys. Yeah. So, property... Yeah. Basically, and it... Based off of energy, mineral, volley, reloads when firing, and mechanic. Yeah. And this is just the same thing, but this one's just a beta version of the weapon instead of alpha here. Then, as we've seen earlier, as we reload into the game 2, the thing called the Nort Rune Lights. This one repairs durability. And uh, we're about to see how well that does out in battle. By the way, it's another legendary mothership is what this is. Another very super useful one. I, I guarantee it, most of you guys, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see this on YouTube as well. A lot of people are going to be using that mothership. And they're going to be like, keep on constant repair. So it can get you back to like full, well almost full HP or so. And if you're near that full amount of health, if you're already full, it's going to give you a temporary Aegis Shield instead. Or something like that. So we have Scavenger Lantern, Scavenger Dazzlers, yep. And then we have the Onslaught Reactor, Gravity Amplifier, all basic new, like, common stuff. So, is it just me or do they just, now all they're just basically doing is just they're now moving the newer stuff and just to get the gold crates where people are going to basically find that is the hardest components of all to get? Yeah, that's so weak. That's so messed up, game. Like, it used to be for the bronze and silver and the gold, they all used to have the newest stuff. And I think they may do that next update. But, maybe not either. I think it's just now, I hate to say this, it could be down just for the gold chest and everything like that. And as we failed for the last attempt, like, an attempt before that, we were trying to get some gold and power cells, but we mostly kept ending up getting components, and I have a feeling it's going to end up like this once again, guys. So we got to be careful what we can get. And hopefully it's something good this time. It didn't go well last month we did the other event, which was Yeah. The happy in eighth anniversary and the event before that was the Ava Life event. Both of them we got scurry components out of this. Something not so useful. Let's see how this month of the year goes. And if we can win really anything good. Ooh, I love the sound of how that goes as. But on the other hand, we get 5% more durability. Perfect, guys. And I love this paint job for sure, too. Got this out of the way. 5% more, I guess that gives us 5% more durability for the Skyros. Okay, not just the Skyros, but the Scavenger paint job for the Skyros. All very cool stuff here, guys. Gotta give us something, and it has to be more components. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Well, I'm wrapping this up now, so Christian's signing off. Bye-bye. Easiest, you know.